Hello YouTube, Sergeant Foos here with a quick video on the Flipper Zero with a new board we've got here. So this is going to be a very quick video. Uh, sorry for the video quality in the way of recording. Uh, just plug my iPhone into a recording dongle just to give you a bit of a picture. So what we're going to do, this is a power socket RF control with a remote. Like many, you can buy very cheap everywhere. Uh, and this is a very special sub gigahertz board. It's built by Rabbit Labs. It's called the Flux Capacitor. Uh, it's a CC1101, just like most, but this one has an amplifier built in and a uh, special power circuit to reduce noise. It's a great looking board. Quality is really high. Optional antennas can be uh, ordered. It has a great Scott silk screen on the back. So, great Scott is the guy who tuned this together with the community, somebody from the community. To made a special firmware to get this chip working. It's just that overall it's an amazing board, it has a large range, has uh, LEDs on the top for control which are very handy, convenient. So let me quick quickly show you. So this is running extreme firmware but it works also on the default one. So let's go into the sub gigahertz and if we go to the frequency analyzer uh, there's an RSSI bar in the bottom with the dot now it's all the way to the right, meaning less responsive. So now it's narrowed down to as less responsive as possible. If we go all the way to the left, or halfway, it's getting more responsive and you can see it's already capturing stuff. This could be noise, this could be whatever. But for the purpose of this video, we're very close, so I'm gonna ramp it all the way up, go back and forth just to clear the screen. So the moment I press the button, it captures the frequency as you can see the device turned on it's going to store it there it is now I'm going to press off slightly different frequency it's going to store it again it's going to say times two behind it because it receives it twice now let's go press and hold OK now it's tuned into this frequency in the configuration you have options like saving, uh, naming, whatever uh, feel free to have a look at it, but by the default settings it works just fine. So now when we press the button, it tells us more details about what it just actually used. So if we go into the Google and we type in Inter Intertechno V3, what you will get is like a picture of this capture device. So now when you receive a signal in the wild, in the open field, you can have a better picture of what you just captured. Instead of just seeing a frequency coming in, you have a bit of a picture of what you just got on your device. And as you can see, we can control it and we can send it again. So now, see there's the send button. On. And if we go back, off. Isn't that cool? So yeah, this is this board. I can do a couple videos on it. Tell me in the comments below if you like it. Um, just quickly hover over the, the LEDs. Uh, wrap meaning power. This board does not need any configuration. So the moment you... Let me jump out. The moment you go into the sub gigahertz menu or out. So now I'm out. Power turned off. The 5 volt on the GPIO board the moment I go in. There's no configuration, zero. It's just plug and play. Plug in and it works. Green means receiving. Red means power. Below the green there's also a red button. So when I'm gonna go to saved... Let's see... If I got something... Yeah, I got an, a saved one called all off. So when I go emulate you can see emulate I can send now see the moment I send it's gonna go red and green so really cool board I really love this one let me know in the comments below what you would love to see about this board or any other stuff and uh, have a great day Sergeant Fools out